everyone. I'm so excited to celebrate Christmas in July with you. Today we're diving into the festive spirit a little early with some amazing DIY ornament projects. Whether you're looking to get a head start on your Christmas decorations or just love crafting, these projects are perfect for you. Hi, my name is Katie from Lady Red Crafting. Let's create some magic together. So I walked by these signs at the Dollar Tree the other day and I thought, you know what, if I took those apart, those could be some really great backgrounds for a ornament. So I was like, well, for $1.25, I'm getting three ornaments and I'm getting some extra beads. So I am going to buy these and we're going to take this all apart. So now that we have our three bases for our ornaments, I want to remove the paper that is on here and to remove the glue, I'm just spraying these down with some water and I thought that might be enough to scrape everything off, but I found that I needed to actually soak these. So I took a paper towel that was wet and I laid them over the top of these. And then after a few minutes, I was able to just scrape the paper right off. And to make sure everything was nice and smooth and removed, I used a sanding block and I just sanded everything down. And then I repeated this on the other two blocks as well. I will not show you those with the magic of video. We'll just go straight on to the next step. This napkin is one of my favorite Christmas napkins. So you've probably seen me use it in other videos as well. But I did get this napkin at Home Goods in 2023. I am going to start out by just removing the back two layers of this napkin so that we can prep everything for decoupaging. Now, I did use three napkins for this project because one of the quadrants on the napkin has a foil inlay inside the napkin, and I wanted that piece to be on every one of these ornaments because, you know, ornaments need to sparkle, and I thought that that would look better. So you see me pointing that out there. I'll save the other quadrants of the napkin for other projects for the Christmas season. Going back to our board, I'm just taking a little piece of painter's tape and I'm taping that down to a piece of cardboard, which will make it easier when I decide to paint this. I'm using my Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and I'm painting a nice coat over the top of this little board. Now, once your paint has completely dried, I take my matte Mod Podge, but you can use whatever you like better and I just do a nice thin coat over the top of this paint. And I'm gonna paint all three of these ornaments. So what you're gonna see me do here is we're gonna do the same background on all three ornaments. However, we're gonna change the fronts of them and do different things. And I like doing this because I like to put things in sets of three on my Christmas tree. And so this kind of gives me three different ornaments, but they all are kind of tied together. Once your Mod Podge is completely dry, I set down my napkin on top and I take my heat press or a hot iron and I just iron that down into place. This warms up the Mod Podge and allows the napkin to adhere perfectly to this piece and it takes out all the wrinkles. So it looks very nice and professionally done. Now I'm grabbing my favorite tool in my toolbox, my zip sander, and I'm just gonna sand this down in a downward motion and remove all of that excess napkin, giving a perfect edge on everything. I return the piece back to the piece of cardboard taped down and using some Mod Podge, I'm just going to seal everything in and you just need a light coat of your Mod Podge and you can use glossy if you'd like, but I use matte on this. And now that everything is dry, I'm using my Suricote Lux Metal Gold. And this acrylic paint is amazing. I love it, it goes on so easily. I just put this on with a small paintbrush and I'm just gonna do the borders on this board. And now that we have all three of our boards prepped, let's go ahead and decorate these in three different ways. The first one here, I'm taking one of these tags I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just taping that down to a paintable surface and using my Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster, I'm gonna give this a nice coat. 
And to cover those white lines that are on that little tag, it did take three coats to cover everything. Now I wanted to give this just a little bit of shimmer. So I'm using a Suricoat Delta Creative Lux Metallic White. And I did one coat over the top of the tag just to give it that, that little bit of a sparkle. I'm grabbing this fun stencil that I found on Amazon and I'm going to cut out the one that says, have yourself a Merry Christmas. And I just want the word Mary on this little sign. So I'm gonna position it so that Mary is in the center. I'm using some painter's tape, I'm just gonna cover up anything that I don't want to stencil onto the tag that might get in my way for me to just do the word Mary. For the stenciling, I'm going to use the Suricote Lux Metal Gold again. And using a sponge brush, I'm going to just lightly tap over the stencil with the paint. This paint is a little bit thin, so I'm just being really careful because I don't want any bleeding. Now before the paint dries, I do remove the stencil and then I allow this to dry for about 20 minutes. Let's put together our first ornament. I'm going to take some hot glue and hot glue the sign just to the front of this ornament. And once that is secure, we'll go ahead and hot glue a little bow over the top of the hole to cover that up. To make my hanger, I'm using a quarter inch satin ribbon and I'm taking some hot glue and I just hot glue it at the bottom together. I don't want a, a knot there, but I want a really nice loop at the top. So that makes it so it's a little bit flatter against the back. And then I'm just gonna hot glue that to the back of the ornament. And now this Mary ornament is ready to hang on your tree. For ornament number two in our series, I'm taking this greenery that I had from the Dollar Tree last year. And this is a snow greenery. Sometimes you can find this greenery all year round, depending on how well your uh, Dollar Tree stocks up. I just really liked the color on this. It had that nice snow look to it, and I thought this would go really well on this ornament. So what I did was I cut two little pieces of the greenery off, and I am just going to hot glue them to the center in the shape of a wreath. And if you need to, you may have to cut the edge just a little bit closer just so everything looks like it's one long piece. And now that our wreath is in place, let's decorate our wreath. I'm using some vase filler that I found at the, from the Dollar Tree last year, and I'm just gonna use five little gold balls. But you can cut little balls off of any sort of picks that you may have, or you could do mini buttons or something like that. But there's a lot of different things you could do to decorate it. And if you want, you could just put a bow on there and not do any decorations. Let's go ahead and make our hanger. I'm using that same satin ribbon and I'm just hot gluing it at the bottom so it's nice and flat. And then I'm hot gluing that to the back of our ornament. Now here's our finished little ornament. I think this one turns out adorable. I love how that satin ribbon gives it more of an elevated look. This next one, I'm using some ribbon that I had left over from Walmart last year. And I cut two strips of ribbon and I made one in the shape of a V and then the other one I just hot glued as a loop. Next, I squished them together in the center and using a little piece of pipe cleaner, I'm going to tighten that up and make the bow shape. And now I'm going to just trim a little bit of that extra pipe cleaner off because we don't need that there. Now I take a third piece of ribbon and this one's about two inches in length and I fold the ends in toward the center. So it's kind of folded in thirds, but I just want that center piece of ribbon. And I take my hot glue and I wrap that around the center to cover that pipe cleaner to give it a polished look. Last step on this bow, all I'm going to do is grab my scissors and dovetail the ends. 
Now I'm going to make my hanger for this ornament and I take the hot glue and I'm just going to hot glue the hanger at the bottom, making it look like a little fish. Then we'll flip it over and hot glue that to the back of our ornament. And once we have the hanger in place, I will then hot glue our bow to the front of our ornament. Now this third ornament is all ready to hang. I just love how this all turns out. Here is all three of them together as a set. And I just think these are adorable. They definitely look more high end than something you'd buy at the Dollar Tree. And these would be great for gifts, a gift tag on a present or on your tree. I would love to hear what you think. Feel free to leave a comment below. And if you're enjoying this content, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps our channel grow. I found these tags at the Dollar Tree and I love the little flip flops on the top of them. So what I am going to do is I'm using my Cricut tool here and I'm just trying to pry these off without breaking them. And I wasn't getting very far with that Cricut tool, so I did grab a screwdriver and that gave me enough leverage to snap these off of the tags. And now that I have the flip flops removed, I will save the tags for another craft and we are going to take these flip flops and transform them. Using a paintable surface and I'm just taping them down to that piece of cardboard so they will be easier for me to paint and I grab my multi-surface black acrylic paint and this is in a satin finish and I want to paint the bottom of our flip-flops the black so these are the soles of the shoes once these are dry I go ahead and flip them back over and tape them back down to our piece of cardboard Grabbing my Waverly chalk paint in the color maze and I'm doing two coats of yellow paint over the top of our flip flops. Now while those are drying I grab out some of this air dry clay and this cute mold that I have and these are from Stamperie and I'm using the long piece here so I'm just making a little snake and then I'm going to press that clay down into the mold. And once I have everything pressed down, I just use my fingers to take any excess off. And I flip the mold over and pop that one out. And then I'm gonna make a second one. While I'm playing with this clay, I wanna tell you all about this playlist I'm a part of this month, Christmas in July, hosted by Krista's Crafty Life and Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIYs. These ladies are amazing. This playlist is all about Christmas in July, and I have a link to them and the playlist in my description box below. So please check them out and give them some love. Thank you. Now that we have our two pieces of clay, I am taking my Elaine's Tacky Glue and I'm just going to draw out where I want my flip flops. So I'm using my Cricut tool to cut the clay, but you could use a butter knife or just a regular paring knife or anything like that. I found that this clay is just really easy to work with. Now, once you're satisfied with your flip flops and putting that clay on there, these will need to be set aside to dry for about 24 hours. So the next day, I took my Waverly chalk paint in the color white and a very skinny paintbrush. And I'm going to paint the clay with the white chalk paint. And I grabbed my heat tool just to help assist the drying process because I wanted to move on to the next step. I'm taking my Mod Podge in matte. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to paint the yellow portion of the flip flops. Next, I'm gonna take this piece of cardboard and place it on top of a piece of copy paper. And using some glitter that is in the color yellow, we're gonna dust that over the top of the Mod Podge. And I have that piece of paper underneath me just to catch any excess. 
so we don't waste any of that fun glitter. To keep the glitter from just flaking off, I am going to seal this with Glossy Spray Mod Podge. Now here is what our adorable little flip flops look like. Now you could hang these separately and make two ornaments, but I wanted to put these together. So I'm using some hot glue and I am just gonna hot glue them on the heel of the flip flop to each other. Once those are attached, I flip this over and I'm using a pendant hanger and I'll link these in my description box below. I did get them on Amazon in a big package these things work great for adding hangers to different things. I've used them in jewelry making and in ornament making. And usually you can get like 200 of them for a very small price. And I'm just gonna glue that onto the back using my E6000. And that does take a little bit for it to adhere. So I do put a clip on there just to help maintain the pressure onto that piece. Now for some final touches. I am using black ribbon here and this is satin ribbon as well and it's about a quarter inch wide and I just tying a little knot at the top there. And I thought it needed a little bit more so I started pulling out different bows and I wasn't liking anything I was finding. I tried different white ones and some checkered ones. So I decided on going with just a plain black bow. I thought that made it look a little bit elegant and I'm just gonna hot glue that right underneath the hook there. And that's all there is to it. This adorable flip-flop ornament is ready to hang or give as a gift. I think these turned out amazing. They are one of my favorite ornaments that I've made to date. These wood round ornaments are a staple in the craft store. And I love them. I know a lot of people do them. I've done different varieties of them in the past. So I wanna show you another twist on what you can do with these. In this video, I'm just going to tape down three of these wood circles onto a piece of cardboard. And I'm using my folk art chalk paint. And I'm going to paint the tops of these. And I'm not gonna paint all the way to the bark. I wanna still see a little bit of that wood. Now I'm using my heat tool to make sure that these are nice and dry before we move on to the next step. So I'm taking this farmhouse stencil and I did get this on Amazon and I will link all of these down in my description box below. You'll also be able to find these on my Amazon store. So I'm just gonna cut all of these little squares out. And I love these stencils. If you haven't tried these before, you should give them a try. They're a self-adhesive stencil. They are washable, so you can use them multiple times. All you have to do is wash them under some warm water with some soap, and then you rinse them off and place them right back on the piece of paper that came with the stencil when you bought them. Now I'm going to take a few of these stencils and put them on top of my rounds. What you see me doing here is trying to fit the right stencil to the round. Each one of these rounds are slightly different in size, so I wanna be flexible and make sure I fit the right stencil to the right round. Now using my redesigned chalk paste in vintage lace, I'm going to squeegee that over the top of these stencils. And I do get these products on Amazon, so I will link them in the description box below. Now I remove these stencils when everything is still wet, and then I'm gonna go and wash the stencils and let these dry for a few minutes. To seal the chalk paste in, I'm using my Jolene finishing wax and a lint-free towel and just going ahead and doing a nice light coat over the top. Now to add our hangers, I'm using jute twine and I'm just gonna string that through the eye hook and tie a little knot. For our final touch, I made three little black and white bows for each one of these. So I'm just using some hot glue and I'm just going to attach them right at the top underneath the eye hook. And that's all there is to it for these beautiful farmhouse ornaments. These would go great as a gift 
or on any sort of farmhouse themed tree. You could also use these year round since they aren't very Christmassy. So these could definitely be used in a tiered tray or to decorate any decor items. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this Christmas in July video and all of these beautiful ornaments. If you're looking for more fun and creative craft ideas, be sure to check out this next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching, and until next time, craft more, stress less.